Okay, so for the video on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply uh, two numbers. And we notice that I'm taking the square root of negative 5 and the square root of 10. So I can kind of do this in two different ways. The first way is we can use the principal square root method, which tells us we can break each one of these up into the square root of 5 times the square root of negative 1. And this would be the square root of 10 times the square root of negative 1. All right. Then what that tells us is, remember, we represent the square root of negative 1. We, can, we don't have a number in the real number system for that, so we can denote that with i. So I could say the square root of 5 times i and the square root of 10 times i. Then I multiply just all my numbers. Square root of 5 times square root of 10 is going to be the square root of 50. And i times i is going to give me i squared. So now I can simplify my square root of 50 by our, um, simplifying our radicals. So I can say that I can rewrite that again as 25 times 2 times i squared, which is now going to be negative 1. I can now rewrite the square root of 25 as 5, negative 5 times square root of 2, as negative 1 times 5 would be negative 5, and the square root of 2 is going to remain under the radical. So there you go. Sorry, a little talkative. Hope that helps. <clears throat>